Researchers did find something unexpected. They found a 27% increased risk of developing high-grade prostate cancers. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Parisis and welcome to another video. Now, finasteride can be great for your hair, but is finasteride great for your prostate gland? Does finasteride increase or decrease your risk of prostate cancer? There happens to be excellent research on this topic and I'm going to simplify it for you. The first big study is the prostate cancer prevention trial study, which looked at over 18,000 men on finasteride over a period of seven years. The, result, the results were excellent. They found a reduced risk of overall prostate cancer risk by 25%. And 25% is a significant reduction in the risk of any disease, so that's very positive. Another major study, the REDUCE trial, looked at dutasteride, which is not finasteride, but it is a very similar 5 alpha reductase blocker, which a lot of hair loss patients use. The study looked at over 8,000 men over a period of four years and found a reduced risk of developing prostate cancer by 23%. Again, very significant. So, so far we have two studies suggesting that finasteride, 5 alpha reductase blockers, have a benefit to our prostate health. But there is a twist. Researchers did find something unexpected. They found a 27% increased risk of developing high-grade prostate cancers. What does high-grade mean? Well, high-grade cancer, and that could be prostate cancer or any type of cancer, is a cancer that grows fast, is more aggressive, is more dangerous and more likely to spread. For prostate cancer specifically, we use something called the Gleason score to score the grade of the prostate cancer. A score of eight or more indicates high grade prostate cancer. Again, that prostate cancer that is more dangerous. So if this study found an increased risk of developing more dangerous prostate cancer, should you stop taking your finasteride if you're, for example, taking it for hair loss? Well, not exactly. Further analysis of the data actually found that finasteride was detecting more aggressive tumors because finasteride was actually improving the detection process itself. Now to detect prostate cancer, we mainly do a biopsy. A biopsy is just a little bit of tissue, a chunk of tissue that we take and analyze under a microscope to see if there are any cancer cells. If there's cancer cells in that piece of tissue, then cancer is diagnosed. Because cancer cells are often only in part of the prostate gland and not all of it, sometimes the biopsy can take a little chunk of tissue that doesn't actually contain cancer cells, which can suggest that that patient doesn't have prostate cancer. When they actually do, it's just in another part of the prostate gland. But because finasteride actually reduces or shrinks your prostate gland, there is a higher chance of that biopsy taking cancer cells if there is cancer in that prostate gland. This means that when the patient's on finasteride, the biopsy is better, or what we call more sensitive, at finding those cancer cells, and therefore diagnosing cancer in that patient. This is why there were more high-grade prostate cancers detected in the finasteride group. The same researchers actually did a follow-up study 18 years later to check whether this was actually true, or whether there was an increased risk of death in the finasteride group because of higher detection of high grade prostate cancers. And they found no increase in deaths in the finasteride group. So what's my overall conclusion? Well, finasteride appears to be great for your risk of prostate cancer. Why? Because it reduces your risk of actually developing prostate cancer and it increases the probability of us being able to detect high grade prostate cancers earlier. An earlier detection of cancer means we are more likely to be able to successfully treat it. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.